Hey guys, so today in this video, I wanted to go over one of my favorite software applications that I have just come across recently. And the reason why I love this software, especially when you combine it with something like Process Lasso, is because this software exposes pretty much the entire operating system. And by the entire operating system, I really mean almost all of it. Because the thing about Process Lasso that makes it kind of difficult for the behind the scenes stuff is that it can only view what Windows gives it. And so the reason why that's an issue is because there are a lot of software and drivers and devices that will run in the background and will hog up your system resources. Because the actual reason why most people get performance issues is not because of their hardware, because most games are programmed for the lowest common denominator of hardware. And so it's really difficult to actually be hardware limited in a bunch of different games unless you're playing the latest and greatest AAA titles and especially at like max settings. But that's a very, that's a very small minority of people that A, play at max settings and B, play the latest games at max settings to begin with. And so that's the reason why it, it's such an issue is because it's not actually the hardware itself, it's the software running underneath it. Because when you have software that randomly decides to turn on, it will cause an interrupt in your system and that will cause your system to have to take resources away from like running the game over to running those certain processes. And so that's why deep loading scripts work really well for a lot of people. And I will be publishing one of my own videos about my own like sort of deep loading script that I've come up with. And so the reason why I wanted to bring this software to you guys is because I wanted to show you a bunch of the cool things that it can actually do that I've yet to find any other software can do. And so the main two or three things that I really find distinguish it from other software is that it lets you view all of the scheduled tasks and task scheduler, all of the services that Windows doesn't expose to other parts of the operating system or other applications. And it even shows you all of the drivers that are running in the background. And so the reason why that's really impactful, guys, is because there are hundreds, if not thousands of drivers and tasks that could be on your system at one point. And you can see that all of these are actually running sometimes actively like within a day or two. So, for example, all of these NVIDIA program tasks. Yeah, all of these just barely ran today at random points. And so did some of these up at the top. And you guys could have probably a far worse example for yourself. And so that's why I love this software is because what it does is if you highlight over some of the boxes over here on the left, if you uncheck them or if you select them, you can save a profile. And what that profile is going to do is it's going to put it in this documents folder and then it's going to allow it to essentially prevent these applications from starting up. And the reason why that's really impactful is because if you can stop the service from even booting up, it is far less likely to have issues in the middle of a game or an actual system event. Whereas if you don't stop it before it starts up, the chances of it finding some way to turn itself back on are extraordinarily high. And so that's why the software is really nice is because it allows you to create custom scripts to whatever you guys find that you need. And so for example, in services, well, a lot of these services actually aren't actually available in the actual task manager services tab. Some of these are actually hidden away. And that's why this is a super useful software is because it gives you an even more in-depth look at what's actually running on your system. And so that's why I love this service. And then not only that, but there are a lot of different drivers in the operating system that could be particularly difficult to deal with. And one of them is the NVIDIA software services and the drivers that run right here. Some of these I do actually use, like the, for example, the NVIDIA Windows kernel model. That's just the literal driver itself. That's what just literally allows you to have your graphics drivers. But some of these other ones like high definition audio, NV module tracker, NV RAID, some of these drivers will restart themselves. And if you don't stop them before they boot up, they can end up causing so many different issues because they'll just keep rebooting themselves and they'll randomly start taking resources away from your system. Same with the scheduled tasks. And so it allows you to completely control your operating system to exactly the way that you want it to. And what's nice about it too, is that it also shows you all of the other things happening in the system as well. So it will analyze actively all of the known DLLs that have been used in the system. 
And that is a super useful feature because some sometimes troubleshooting and figuring out like issues in your system can come down to one file or one service just being an absolute pain. And so that's why I love this software service, especially when you combine it with other services that help you control your system and your operating system. And it's also seamless because once you save that profile, you don't have to manually keep recreating it. It will automatically do it as soon as you restart. And so it's just a super nice service to really get down into the weeds in terms of all of the actual services and tasks running in your system. And so I'll leave a link in the description for the actual location of where you guys can download this. But I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. And I hope that it is actually something that you guys will explore. Um, let me know if you guys find anything interesting about the service and then share some comments in the you know description if you have anything that you guys want to chat about. But anyway, guys, yeah, my name is Savaterix and I'm out.